So I'm going to start this video off being very honest with you guys. And I want to let you guys know that I'm pretty sure that the U YouTube algorithm is fucking me right now. Um, I'm not too sure. Well, I know how it work, how it works, but I'm pretty sure the algorithm is pretty off right now. So what I'm going to need you guys to do is to help me bring it back. And the way you're going to do that is by smashing the like button. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe. And we're going to, we're going to get this channel back in one video. So that's all I got to say about that. We're going to, we're going to start with DraftKings. This video of course, it's for Wednesday, March 22nd. We're going to start with Luka Magic, who's questionable. And he's 12K. And my Spidey senses is telling me to stay away from Luka. Um, everybody's questionable. If Luka's not 100%, I'm not paying, I'm not paying, I'm not paying 12K for him. Kyrie, I don't know what's really wrong with him, so I don't want to pay 10k for him. So that elim that eliminates those two bozos. Dame Dollar, if Portland is still trying to struggle, well, if they're still trying to fight for a, a playing spot, Dame Dollar is going to go all out. So I like Dame Dollar at 10.5k. You feel me? You follow me so far? Steph Curry, 9.7k, a little bit too cheap. They need to win games. Fire him up. If only Kyrie plays and Luka doesn't, you could probably try to get Kyrie and, and Kyrie in the same lineup and hope for a shootout. But cross that bridge when you get there. Harden's always in play against Chicago. Halliburton, um, I don't know if I don't know if Indiana's playing for anything. Uh, keep your eye on Halliburton. If he plays, he's in play. If he, if he doesn't play. You know, McConnell gets a little bit of a boost. And uh, what's the other guy's name? Nemhard. He gets a little bit of a boost, too. Trey Young is too cheap against Minnesota. Fire him up. I heard John Morant might come off the bench. I don't know. We got to keep our eye on that. Van Vliet, 8.6K, absolutely in play. Kevin Porter's in play. Drew Holiday against San Antonio. You know San Antonio's going to lay down. Absolutely in play. Now, I warned you guys about San Antonio. In my last video. And unfortunately I didn't get to play main slate. Last night. Um, but. I'm looking at the box score. And I'm seeing like Mamu started. And no Keldon Johnson and all this shit. So they laid down. Just like I expected them to. So. Um, do you want to pay. 8k for Drew Holiday against the Spurs. That's a question you got you to gotta ask yourself. DeJounte Murray's in play. Jamal Murray's in play. Chris Paul's in play. D'Angelo Russell, uh, he's do a good game. Against Phoenix, I'm not too sure. But then again, you know, Austin Reeves is, you know, he's, he's getting some shots. So, Russell might be capped. 7,500 is a lot for a guy that might be capped if Russell's going to be getting a lot of shots. And AD needs to, needs to get his shots also. So, keep your eye on that. Uh... Jalen Brunson, 7,300. Absolutely in play. Jalen Green's in play. Maxie's in play. Hero's in play. Tyus Jones is in play. Conley has uh, found himself. Austin Reeves. Is it Austin? Yeah, I knew that. Austin Reeves, 6,400. Absolutely in play. My man has a motor. He's taking shots. He's putting the Lakers on his back and taking them to the promised land. Fire him up. Quickly, don't need him. McConnell, if there's no Halliburton, you know what to do. Pull, huh? Don't really need him. Chris Dunn. You can play Chris Dunn. Trey Jones is a spur. Nemhard, if there's no Halliburton. Branham's a spur. You know what that means? Graham is a spur. Schroeder we don't need. Hardy, if there's no Luka or Kyrie and he starts. Monte Morris is okay. Pat Beverly, you can take a shot. Deal all right. You could take a shot. The rest of these bozos, I don't need them right now. Booker's in play. Beal's in play. Levine's in play. Bain's in play. THT's in play. Clay Thompson's in play. Vassal, no thank you. He's a spur. OG's in play. 
Josh Hart, you could take a shot. T to Tim Hardaway Jr. I prefer Luca. I prefer one of Luca or Kyrie to be out. Melton, no thank you. Bogdanovich, you could take a shot. Gary Trent, Di Vincenzo, Matherin, you could take a shot on all three of them. Agbaji found found himself. You could take a shot if he starts again. Caldwell Pope, last man in. You're playing a lot of lineups. Fine, go ahead. Malik Beasley, you could take a shot playing a lot of lineups. Joe Wingles against the Spurs. You might get extra run. You never know. Grayson Allen, you're playing like 30 lineups. Take a shot. Connington, 4K, you're playing like 20 lineups. You could take a shot. I always like Connington over Grayson Allen. He does a little bit more, but if Grayson Allen gets hot, then Pat Connington will be sitting down. So, um, very risky. The rest of these guys, we don't need. I'll be honest with you. I'll be honest with you. If if you're like hours before a lock making your dummy lineup, right? Listen to me very carefully because I'm only here to help you. And you're down here picking up players. You're putting in Reggie Jackson and Kobe White and fucking George Hill and fucking Billy Bob Thornton and all these other motherfuckers. If you're putting them into your dummy lineups, you're going to probably lose. You shouldn't be down here at all. Make your dummy lineups with players that you know are going to play. Players you know are going to get minutes. Players you know are going to get shots. Players that, you know, get stocks, get steals, get defense, the blocks. You know, like, I, I hate to be harsh. I hate to, you know, sound. I hate to be an asshole, but I want you guys to win. You're making dummy lineups with players that are going to give you production in every spot. If you're making a dummy lineup and you're playing Gabe Vincent and, and Shake Milton and fucking Quentin Grimes, and fucking Bob Barker and all these other motherfuckers. You're cooked. You feel me? Um, so make your dummy lineup with players you know that you know that that's gonna play. As you get information, as you get value, you adjust your lineup, right? And you go on from there. And then once you get, you know, once you get an hour to lock, 30 minutes to lock, and the starting line that's come out, come out, you fine tune your lineup. And you make sure that every spot has the ability to give you production. And that's how you win. You feel me? Now let's go to small forward. I got time today. You see what I'm saying? Some days I don't have time, but I got time today. So you're going to hear what I got to say. Smash that like button. And let's stop playing games. Marketing, 9.1K. If he plays... He's in play. If he doesn't play, Kelly Olynyk gets a bump. Kessler gets a little bump. THT gets a bump. You know this. Anthony Edwards. I don't need nobody playing with no fucking jelly ankle. So, un until he's 100% healthy, I'm good. The Rosen's in play. Butler's in play. No Calvin Johnson for me. Middleton's in play. Kyle Anderson's in play. Scotty Barnes is in play. Buddy Hill. Buddy Hill, I can never get Buddy Hill right. When I play Buddy Hill, what the fuck is going on? When I play Buddy Hill, he play he gives us twenty fantasy points. When I don't play Buddy Hill, he drops forty five fantasy points. Last five games: thirty four, twenty five, thirty nine, twenty six, and twenty seven. Check me out. Buddy Hill is going to play about 30 minutes. He's going to take about 15 shots. He's going to take about 10 threes. All right, seven threes. But Buddy Hill is always a good play. If he hits his shots, you're looking good. If he doesn't hit his shots, it's going to be an early night. You know what I'm saying? So um, just keep that in mind. Don't play, him in your, don't play him in all your lineups. If you're playing five lineups, you could throw him in one or two. MPJ's in play, Easton's in play, RJ Barrett's in play, 5,800, kind of cheap. Tobias Harris, he's an okay play. He's not, he's not a, he's not a, <laughs> Tobias Harris is an average play. Um, Okogie, if you want to take a shot. DeAndre Hunter, if you want to take a shot. KJ Martin, I don't know what's going on with him. I've been playing him lately and. He's been doing absolutely nothing. 33, 30, 22, 14, and 22 fantasy points. Whatever. 
What else we got here? We got Jaden McDaniels. He's okay. Josh Green, if he starts, you could take a shot. If Fettuccini from Utah starts again, you could take a shot on Fettuccini if he starts. Let's see what he did last night. 33 minutes and 19 fantasy points. What the fuck? But he took, you know what? He took 10 threes. I'm okay with that. 33 minutes, he took 13 shots. He took 10 threes. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. No problem. Um, Who else we got down here? No one. Yeah, let's go to let's go to power forward. All right, Giannis, self-explanatory. Fire him up. If they smash San Antonio by fifty in the second quarter, does Giannis play his get his full run? That's a question you need to ask yourself. Julius Randle. I don't know who Julius Randle think he is, but my man has a. Uh, my man has taken it to the next level. Uh, 57 points. Jesus Christ. My man thinks he's KD. All right, well, let's see Let's see if he can follow this up. Julius Trandall's in play. Porzingis is in play. Siakam's in play. Jaron Jackson Jr. is in play. Kelly Olenek's in play. Jabari Smith is an okay play. Aaron Gordon is okay. Bobby Portis, I don't need. Draymond is always an okay play if he plays with his boyfriend. Um, if you don't know who his boyfriend is, it's, uh, Steph Curry, uh, Sohan, I'm good on him. So let me tell you something about Sohan. Sohan will play a whole half. Popovich will sit him for the second half and claim some fucking mysterious injury. I'm not with all that bullshit. No, thank you. No spurs for me. No, no spurs. No, thank you. Vanderbilt, very risky, but in play. John Collins, you could take a take a shot. Kaminga, you could take a shot. Torian Prince, now, who the fuck this guy think he is? All of a sudden, all of a sudden, he thinks he's Kevin Garnett. Look at this shit. 12 of 13. Eight threes. Eight of eight from three. Who the fuck is this guy? He thinks he's Larry Bird. And get this guy the fuck out of here. I dare him to give us 30 fantasy points in the next game. Torian Prince, he's absolutely in play, though. Uh, I prefer him to start, but he's in play. Jalen Smith, if you want to take a shot. Nas Reed, if you want to take a shot. Wenyan Wenyan Gabriel, he's been getting run. Reggie Bullock, remember him last week? He had like 50 fantasy points. Y'all remember that? Look, 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 47 fantasy points. Then he came back to earth, 21 and eight. What'd I tell you? Reggie Bullock is a fucking bum. Let me tell y'all something. I'll be real honest with you. You know what I'm saying? I'm better than Reggie Bullock. Get this guy the fuck out of here. What's next? Who's next? Aldama. Aldama was... I liked him last late because Jared Jackson was questionable, but I don't usually play him with the starters healthy. So Aldama, last man in. I'm sure we'll get better value, but... He's not the worst play. Kevin Love, he was in the, I think he was in the optimal a couple nights ago with his fucking 18 minutes and 27 fantasy points or whatever the fuck it was. What is it? What was it? 25, 25 fantasy points in 24 minutes. Is that what it was? I don't know. But he was in somebody's optimal. Fuck Kevin Love. I don't care about him. Who's next? Uh, All right, nobody down here. That's interesting. I guess, look. Last man in. You want to play Kevin Love? Play him. 4K. He's going to give you about 20 minutes. If he hit his shots, you're doing good. You're doing fine. You feel me? All right. Center and B, too cheap. 11-7. Fire him up. Yo, kids, 11-5. Uh, fire them both up. Um, AD, 10.4K. I've given up on him. I've given the whole world the the whole world been holding their breath waiting for him to put the Lakers on his on his back, and we've been waiting for four years. He's a fucking Robin. He's not Batman. He's Robin. It, it is what it is. It is what it is. So, I mean, he's still good for fantasy. Don't get me wrong, but 
AD will never be the guy that he could have been. Oh, well, that shit happens. It's like Vince Carter. Y'all remember Vince Carter? Vince Carter could have been a top 10 player in the NBA. But you know what? He had no motor. So he could jump high and he could do all types of dunks. And every every fifth game, he'll give you 30, 30 points. But Vince Carter had no motor. If Vince Carter had a motor, y'all y'all don't even understand. Anyway, I'm getting off topic. Back to center. Carl Anthony Towns, 8,300. You think I'm going to play Carl Anthony Towns at 8,300 when he hasn't played in like fucking six months? Get him the fuck out of here. Vooch is in play. Bam's in play. Brooke Lopez is in play. Um, Rudy Gobert is in play against Atlanta. Walker Kessler, 7,200 is in play. Miles Turner is in play. Jacob Pertle is in play. St. Gould is in play. Christian Woods is in play. Zach Collins, I would love to play, but he's a spur. Nurkic, you could take a shot. Capella, you could take a shot. Looney, you could take a shot. Watford, you could take a shot. Tillman, you could take a shot. If Collins doesn't play, they start Mamu at 5,100. You could probably play him. Like, how bad can he hurt you? Um... And I think that's about it. I'm not playing uh I'm not playing Mitchell Robinson. He already he already made his bed, so now he got a lie in it. He, he is getting minutes, but he's not getting any shots. They're not running any plays for him. He just did a rebound in defense, so he don't like that. I don't know. He thinks he's a two way player. He thinks he's Tim Duncan. Whatever. I'm good. Uh I don't need Mitchell Robinson. Mammo if he starts. You could take a shot, and that's about it. We got more than enough players to, to, to put in our dummy lineup, so let's get going. Uh, Philly against Chicago. I really like Embiid. I really like Embiid. Let's play Embiid. Power forward. No, actually, let's start at point guard. Point guard. Jalen Brunson a little bit too cheap. Hard to overlook him. Um, shooting guard. We got here. Clay Thompson is 7K. Austin Reeves, 6,400. Fuck that. YOLO. Austin Reeves. Let's go. Um, small forward. Jimmy Butler, Kelvin Johnson, Middleton, THT, Clay Thompson, OG, RJ Barrett. Do we do do we do Brunson and Barrett? We could. I ain't doing that though. But he's fifty eight hundred. Fuck it. YOLO. Alright, now power forward. Let's see. Kelly Olenek looks Looks okay. Kyle Anderson is always in play. The Rose is 8,700. But I got to watch my salary. You feel me? John Collins, 5,200. Very risky. Let's just do it. John Collins, 5,200. So we got Brunson, Austin Reeves, RJ Barrett, John Collins, and Embiid. We still have $4,500 left with three spots. So that's not bad. We got a whole 10 game slate, so that's not bad. Um, all right, well, if you're new here, welcome. Thank you for watching. Um, I appreciate you taking the time to watch my video. Please subscribe, hit the bell, thumbs up. I really need you to do that for me, and I need you to do that for us. Um, like I said, we gotta combat the algorithm and get this get 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 make sure that this video gets circulated, so we could continue to build this channel, and we can't let YouTube stop us. So that's what we're gonna do. Um, if you're struggling to cash, I can help you. I can send you my finalized optimal lineups right before lock, or I could de I could build you your own lineups. So you can check out the Patreon link in the description, or you can DM me on Twitter, and we'll get you going. So we're gonna go to FanDuel. I already got five guys picked out, like I always do. Oh yeah, Bismarck Biombo. If he if uh eight in is out, Bismarck Bismarck Biombo is absolutely in play. On DraftKings. My bad. So, 
we got Bismarck by number one, FanDuel 4,800. He's our value right at, at, at the moment if he starts. Then we got Watford, 5,700 if he starts. We got my man, Austin Reeves. Like I said, he's been putting the Lakers on his back. He's a true Batman on the Lakers until LeBron comes back. He's Batman. Anthony Davis is Robin, and that's that. Uh, no Clarkson. We're going to play THT, 6,900. And like I said, as long as Portland is going to try to fight to get into playing, that means Dame Dollar got some, uh, he, he's got some big time games coming up and you want to be ahead of it then behind it. And I think that wraps up this 10 game slate. I, like I said, I appreciate you guys watching. You guys are, you guys are like always amazing because it doesn't matter how many views I get. You guys still like the video. And you still support the video. And I see that and I appreciate it. And I'd be like, damn, these people, they, they're so loyal. They're so loyal to the channel. It's amazing. It's heartwarming. You feel me? But listen, we need to smash this YouTube algorithm and let them know who's boss. Let them know who runs shit. Let them know that we run this shit. And uh, I know you guys are going to do that. You guys always come through for me. So with all that being said, you know. I'm going to go on and get out of here. I took up enough of your time. Uh, hope you guys had a profitable night. I didn't get to play main slate, like I said, but I did do some after hours. So we'll see how that turns out. And uh, I'm going to be home all day tomorrow. So if you got any questions, you need help, throw it in the chat. We'll help you. I'll help you. The rest of the, 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 the regulars will all help you. Everybody's pretty sharp. And, uh... And Patreons, since I missed the main slate last night, we're gonna be doing a few lineups for um for main slate and whatever slate it is, we're just gonna I'm gonna just throw out multiple lineups just to make up for missing main slate. Cause I you know I miss main slate. You guys don't say nothing, you don't cry, you don't bitch, you don't moan. You guys are amazing also. So shout out to you guys. And let me finally go. I know I've been saying I'm gonna go for like five minutes. I know I'm annoying, but I'm gonna get out of here. So Appreciate you guys. Subscribe, hit the bell, thumbs up, all that good stuff. I'm out of here. I'll check y'all guys in the next one. Ciao.